No. Mm -mm. This is super floppy. Hi everyone, so today I wanted to make a video for you guys. It's really short and simple. As you saw in the beginning, I have a straw hat that I've had for many years. It's from Madewell. My most recent vacation, it got crushed in, I think, my backpack. I didn't want to wear it on the plane, so I think I just like kind of folded it and put it in my backpack. And ever since then, it's been folded weird and just looks really crushed. And I'm really sad about that because it's one of my favorite hats. I didn't want to let it go just yet because I was determined to find out a way to fix my straw hat. This sad thing right here. It's super floppy as you can see. Well, yeah, in this video, I wanted to show you guys how you can fix the creases in straw hats. It's super easy. You just need a bent straw hat, creased messed up straw hat, and either a steamer or a pot filled with water and boiling on the stove. So today I'm gonna show you how you guys can remove those creases and those random folds on your straw hats with a clothing steamer. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. Oh no. Oh no. Look at that. Not cute. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, all you're going to need is this steamer right here and then your creased straw hat. I just have this Conair steamer that I bought a long time ago from, I don't know, like Target or Walmart. It works well for what it is um, and it does its job. It's not your most professional steamer, but it gets the job done. Okay, so I'm gonna just set you guys on my bookshelf here just easier for you guys to see me do the actual process of getting the creases out of my hat so this is how the hat looks now super floppy sad and creased and just not wearable mm -mm. so i have my steamer here please don't mind my dog <laughs> he barks all day I already filled it up with water here. I always keep it on high heat. And then here, I'm just gonna lock it to stay on, and then it goes on like that. Then take the steamer, hold it at the crease, and steam down. See this one right here. it's shaped back to normal. You could already see how the steam is reshaping the brim and just removing those creases all together. So I'm actually gonna take you guys here on my bed just because I think it will be easier to kind of steam it on a flat surface, kind of like you're ironing it. Okay, so for the head part, or the crown part, I should say, I'm just gonna push out what's sinking in. I'm just gonna press it down like so till it's sticking up at the top like that and then I'm gonna need two hands for this so I'm gonna put you guys back down on my bookshelf
Just getting the last creases out. You can see here, there's a crease right there. All right guys, so this is the finished product. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely tell a difference after steaming the entire hat. My main concern was the brim of the hat. It does look way better than it did before. Let me show you guys how this looks on. Oh my gosh, it is bringing me back to how this used to look when I would wear it all the time when I first bought it. It looks so much better. The crown actually looks a lot better. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Just in time for the summertime again. You guys never have to go out and buy a completely new straw hat when the season comes again for straw hats. Fix them up easily with a steamer and boiling pot of water. So with the boiling pot of water, I forgot to mention, but I didn't show in this video because I had a steamer myself and thought it would just be easier to use the steamer. If you guys don't have a steamer, you can just use a boiling pot of water and then hold the brim or whatever parts of the hat above the steam coming from the pot of water. It'll work just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Quick, simple, easy video. I'm really happy with how this turned out and hope you guys can use that tip as well for any straw hats that are super creased and you guys never wear anymore because of that. Like this video if you guys found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.